let's see, 50, around 58 degrees. You know, I think last, yesterday was 64, but the thing was, it was windy. And let me tell you, that wind made it feel a little bit too cool. I'm going to update this a little bit. Hold on. Okay. That will make it a little straighter. All right. Let me get some coffee in me. I was going to talk about... Um, Image AI generation. Has some fascinating things with it. Uh, use the control net image prompts versus text and text prompts. And then uh, attribute settings, um, depth of field and other stuff like that. It's quite a bit that goes into doing that but i'm going to save that for another day i watched the movie her last night and i was watching it with my wife and if you haven't watched it i do recommend it you might ha have a little trouble getting past the first 15 minutes of it because it's a uh the the main guy in the film who's played by Jacqueline or is it Hawking Phoenix? Uh the guy that played Joker in the Joker movie. Um he's um having a rough time of it in the first fifteen minutes. And it was a uh, interesting movie and very well done. Um, the premise is that the uh, I'm not going to spoil anything for you because I do think you would really enjoy the movie. But the the premise, which is in the trailer, so I'll just do that, is that. He is uh, single, and he's uh, having a rough time of it. His wife's divorce, divorcing him, and his uh, purchases a, a new operating system that is uh, an AI, and the AI. Um, uh, is adapting to uh, help him as much as the AI can. And, and I think that's part of the thing that I really would recommend this film. It's not just because it's a good movie, but it's a lot about what we developers and people that support AI hope for people in the future. Um, the big hope I have in the future is right now our society is getting to the point where there's not many challenges. Uh, but there's a lot of people wanting kind of stress in their life. They're not sure how to deal with it. And I'm generalizing. I mean, you 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 know in your life, and, and we all know in our lives how things are get stressed. Uh, but how you deal with them is typically either with friends and family. And I'm very fortunate that I have a, you know, really good uh, set of children and my wife and uh, I've got friends that work. There's a lot of people that I can reach out to and, and kind of 
uh, echo my I can talk to and get that confirmation or guidance that may help me in life. Not everybody's like that. So the idea behind the, the movie is maybe the AI can help us or harm us based on what we try to get from it or what we do with it. And I think that's the same as what we write right now. I was listening to the uh, creator of uh, OpenAI and ChatGPT, and he said that when he started working on AI 10 years ago, the general philosophy was that AI might help us do the mundane. Things that were repetitive tasks, things that were uh, things you could get done, but they they just took time and they weren't very challenging. So the AI might be able to help us with that. He said he never thought until the last couple of years that maybe the AI could also help us in those areas where we need specialization and uh, intelligent guidance. So reaching out to ask an AI um, about areas of concerns might be a uh, stuff that we could actually use it for, not just uh, uh, specializations. And he said that idea of inexpensive intellect, the ability to have intellect available to everyone to help them with their mastering what they need to get done is something that um, he never thought, well, he's not there, he, until recently didn't think uh, the AI was going to be a good solution for. But now he thinks that is a definite possibility. And that's, that's kind of what the movie it talks about a little bit in so far as it's a... dive into whether uh, AI might be an emotional and companion and friend good fascinating movie personally this is what I think it can However, there are limitations to it. And the biggest limitation is that the AI is not uh, human. Uh, it can act human, it can think human, but it's the way it thinks and its ability to consume huge amounts of information very quickly allows it to be something more than human and possibly less than human but the main point is it's like uh, a mismatch it's like when you meet a species of uh, another sentient being and that sentient being thinks differently than you experiences everything differently than you, maybe 
lives longer, lives shorter, all these things, you add them all up. Can you get along with that person to actually have a relationship or a alien to get a relationship? You might, there's a possibility, but it's gonna be hard and it's gonna be rare. Same with AI. There may be some people who will live out their lives enjoying the conversations and the emotional support that they get from talking to uh, artificial intelligence. But I think they'll be rare. I think the vast majority of people will have it as a companion, a friend, uh, a confidant. But the AI and humans, as far as a real deep connection, I think probably not. Now, I'm going to put a big caveat on all this. We just started. We just begun this journey. We really have a lot that possibilities. And if you asked me five years ago, if something like chat GPT would be available right now, I would have said, maybe in a lab, possibly at a university, definitely not for general consumption. And I was wrong. I would be 100% dead wrong. So there you go. That's my take. And I'm, Got that colored from current information, got it colored from a little bit of the movie, got it colored from my personal experience. But I can say that I have strong hope and a strong feeling that this relationship we're going to have with this uh, artificial intelligence as it matures and grows more and more developed over time will be a positive thing for people, society, humanity, and everything else. I just really, truly hope so. All right. That's all I had. I recommend the movie Her. It is it holds up well, even in our society, even though it was done 10 years ago. So give it a watch if you can. Talk to you later.